Hi guys and welcome back to another Chemistry Academy video. In this video we're going to be looking at molar volume. Um, I will do a separate video going through some example past paper questions on that so you can check that out after you've watched this. So molar volume is really based on the fact that for any gas if you have a set number, a same number of moles at the same temperature and pressure it will occupy the same volume. So what that means in context is that if you have one mole of hydrogen gas that would occupy the exact same volume as one mole of carbon dioxide gas would. So even though they don't necessarily have the same mass because we know that one mole of hydrogen gas is two grams because it's two times one for the hydrogen and the gram formula mass or the mass of one mole of carbon dioxide would be 44 grams. So although they don't have the same mass, they would still occupy the same volume as gases if you had the same number of moles. So what that means is that if you've got the same moles, it's the same volume. If you've got more moles of one gas than the other, then the more moles will occupy a larger volume. And if you've got less moles, then that would occupy a smaller volume. So that's what you really need to bear in mind when you're comparing quantities of gases. More moles is more volume. When it comes to the molar volume relationship, so what molar volume actually means, it's the volume that one mole of a gas will occupy. So like I said before, if you've got two grams of hydrogen gas, generally at standard temperature and pressure, molar volume is around about 24 litres. So one mole of hydrogen gas would occupy 24 litres. That means that its molar volume would be 24 litres per mole because one mole occupies 24 litres. So the volume would be 24 litres per mole. That means if you had two moles of hydrogen gas, it would be 48 litres that you would be occupying. One mole of carbon dioxide gas at the same temperature of pressure as this hydrogen gas sample would also be 24 litres, okay, because it would have the same molar volume. So it doesn't matter what the gas is, the same temperature and pressure, they will occupy the same space if it's the same number of moles. Unfortunately, you don't get the molar volume relationship in the data booklet, so it is one you just need to remember. However, it's very similar to NMGFM, so normally you would have NMGFM, so you swap the M out for a V and the GFM out for MV. There's a triangle here that you can try and remember as well, it'll help you use the relationship in different formats. So remember if it's on the top, if you're trying to work out V, the volume, then you would do N times MV. If you're trying to work out the number of moles, you would do V over MV. And if you were trying to work out the molar volume, you would do V over N. Something to bear in mind is because the molar volume is in litres per mole, your volume will be in litres as well. So if you're given a gas volume in centimetres cubed, you need to divide it by a thousand to change it into litres. If you're calculating a volume, just bear in mind that volume will come out as litres. Okay? So in terms of experimental ways of calculating molar volume, you would just take a known number of moles of a gas um, with a known volume and then you can use this relationship to work out what the molar volume is. So let's say you've got um, a flask, a 100 centimetre cube flask of hydrogen gas for example, you would weigh that, then work out how much of the gas actually weighs you can then use the NMGFM relationship to work out the moles and then you take those number of moles with the volume to work out the molar volume. So you'd have 0.1 litres over how many moles you had and that would give you out the molar volume. So that's the easiest way to do it through experimentation. You just have a known volume of a gas, weigh how much the gas weighs, calculate the number of moles and then use the number of moles and the volume to work out the molar volume. But that is essentially the theory behind molar volume is as straightforward as that really so that any gas at the same temperature and pressure will occupy the same volume so it can be a like for like comparison and if you've got more moles it'll be a bigger volume less moles will be a smaller volume but check out my video going through the example past paper questions on molar volume and that'll give you a good insight into all the different ways they can ask you to apply this theory if you find this helpful please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you again soon